Well, I almost had to bite my tongue I know. off. I, I <laughs> saw you, dude. <laughs> when, I was like, here's a guy who's seen a jury. <laughs> as a great protection. Twelve complete imbeciles stuck me in a cage for a year for not sending a piece of paper to the federal extortion racket. And the only reason they did it is because they believed in authority. Because an authority figure said, I didn't do what I was supposed to. They didn't say I had hurt anybody. They didn't say I had threatened anybody. They didn't say I had harmed anybody anywhere ever because I hadn't. They said he didn't do what the masters told them, and they said guilty. Juries are no protection against anything if they believe in authority. But Mark, well, you a, had the passion you have. If that didn't happen, though, <laughs> of course. Oh uh, yeah, because I, I already did. Oh, okay. I probably wouldn't be quite as annoyed. Me, <laughs> may not be quite as rude. But I, I was already an anarchist before any of that happened. Okay, so just as an aside. No faith in juries as long as they believe in authority. Now, as for protection and organization and, you know, yeah, we're a social creature. I'm not saying everybody run for the hills, every man for himself. Um, Organization doesn't require special authority, doesn't require a ruling class. Defense doesn't require special authority. Nothing inherently moral requires legislation to make it moral. I mean, that's sort of a truism. Defending yourself against fraud and attackers and all the nasty things that can be done, all the, all the forms that, that fraud and force and violence and aggression can take, defending yourself in an organized way, cooperating, it can be formal, it can have all these procedures, all of that's good, all of it is inherently moral, and so it doesn't require authority. The only thing that authority adds to the mix is the idea that there are some people with certain exemptions from morality. That's all government is, is the group imagined to have certain exemptions from the rules that apply to everybody else. But as long as you keep that element of there's going to be an authority that has certain powers that normal people don't, you're keeping an element of there are going to be certain people that are allowed to do evil stuff, stuff that's bad if I do it, stuff that's bad if you do it. That is the belief that has to go. We can have cooperation, we can have society, we can have defense, we can have justice, we can have all these formal procedures, but until the lie called authority is gone, there will always be violent aggression, and not just because there are nasty people, but because there are billions of people that hallucinate legitimacy to evil when it's committed in the name of authority. When the people stop imagining that law can make evil into good, then we can start being human beings.